See, and then you just get those ones where he shows blood, but you don't get any hit indicator, and you just gotta hope that Ark knows what the hell it's doing. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Bam, just went from 6 to midnight, didn't it, buddy? Yo, what's going on, guys? Riot's here. I'm pretty freaking sure I'm recording. It's taken me, like, several tries. I did just finally get back in time, t time, back in town, back, back in town late last night. I just swear to God, I don't time travel. Anyways, I'm flying throughout my arc world. Like, the last thing I did before I left was I had Crisco add maybe four mods, adding over 30 creatures to this world. And it's getting crazy convoluted. It's so jam-packed. Like, I was just over on the beach, and there was these giant snakes, and to be honest, now all I can think about is giant snakes. This is gonna be an episode where we more get an Indominus Rex to fight some monsters, but now, I'm just pretty much mesmerized with giant snakes. See, what the hell is this thing? It's just some giant parrot creature? There's, there's been, like, every creature from Atlas, or no, not every creature from Atlas, only the cool creatures from Atlas, and then also a bunch of creatures ripped from a bunch of other games. And then just a bunch that were made by some awesome mod developers. Look how gorgeous this creature is. For some reason, it looks so much better not in Atlas. I'm sorry, Atlas. I don't mean to just freaking shots fired like that, but... I'm not spending freaking 24 hours making another ship. I'm never doing that again. Today's video is not going to be taming one of these dinosaurs, because we've already seen them all over the place, even though this one right here is purple. And that's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen right there. Wow, that is shockingly beautiful. Oh my god. These two Anginaths just killing some Atlas creatures too. There's gang warfare going on. In that little fight right there is a dark and light creature fighting two arc or fighting an arc creature, fighting two monster hunter creatures while fighting an Atlas creature. That's madness. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen right here. Anyways, what's going on guys? Riot's here. I did just get back from about five days gone. Everything feels so floopy. I think today's video might just be, let's just check out some of the insane stuff around here. And then if we find something epic, we shall, you know, and, and enslave it and all that jazz. We were going to move bases today, but seeing as how it's my first day back, I don't feel nearly responsible enough to be making some major decisions like that. We did go ahead and name this one Conquest, our freaking Legion over here. It is a beautiful name, I do agree. It always is so sad picking names because there's so many people... I don't get to pick, but this one had over 200 likes. It was clearly the most popular down below. The freaking spider raptor has some sort of glitch where we can't name it right now. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, 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 my god. I keep getting giant frame rate drops because it's loading in so many creatures I've never seen before. But we were going to name it Tad, which seems kind of ridiculous, I know, but it's like totally aggressive, distracted dinosaur. It's freaking genius, man. That was some amazing comments I read through. But we still can't name it because of a stupid glitch. It's ridiculous. Also, I need to find another one of those giant snakes. I saw like three of them. No, you're just a regular giant snake, aren't you? Or you legit might be another one. I don't know. There's so many new kinds of giant snakes added. That snake is giant though. A wise man once said, thou must not get picky over giant snakes. I don't think I'm sexy enough to the snake though. Like Legion is not in his food chain. I'm afraid to hop off though. What if it flies like a thousand miles an hour? Also, I never put the freaking wall back up here. Crap, I put the wall somewhere else. There's so much freaking going on right now. I'm so scatterbrained too. I haven't even had G Fuel in like five days. It's freaking ridiculous. I didn't even know that was possible. See, we're, we were gonna name this one Tad, but it can't be named right now because it's being all. Nope, yes, we can. I was stupid. I'm so <laughs> I know it's not like Tad, it's not the sexiest name, you know, it doesn't exactly get a woman's panties dropping, but it is still, I guess no name necessarily drops a woman's panties, aside from like, James Bond, but totally aggressive, distracted dinosaur, I thought that was just beautiful. Holy shit, it is so hot in my room right now, I forgot how hot Southern California was, my god, I guess everywhere is generally hot, that's like the whole, the whole problem, is we're all melting lately, that's kind of a thing going on, but woof! Luckily, the freaking, like, food and, um, drinking and everything is turned down on the server so much because some of the monsters were eating just copious amounts of food and starving themselves to or, or just to death instantly that I don't really necessarily have to have food and water on me unless we're going on a long adventure. So we should be totally fine. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys are feeling that sort of thing. And just generally comment below how you're doing. I feel like I'm just gonna go in the comment section for, like, an hour later and just reply to as many people as I possibly can. We need to develop more closeness in this community, damn it. I only talk to, like, the ones who go to Twitch regularly. Alright, you big sexy snake. This is gonna be awesome. Or terrible. I have no freaking idea. I'm just assuming this creature's from Atlas because... The three mods that have been added for the most part... Oh, oh, oh my god, I almost forgot to show you guys something crazy. Um, I probably should have showed this at the beginning of the video and I feel very unprofessional for that. 
but the the Nergagant the Ner Nergagante mod got a mad. But Nergagante, the first Monster Hunter mod that's gonna be public because this is the one that can't be sued no matter what because we all paid like a thousand dollars to have it built from the ground up. As you can see from what I'm showing in front of you, the creature is just about finished. And yes, this is going to be available for everyone. And yes, it's going to be freaking as amazing as it seems. What are you doing to me? Everything spits around. Shit, it's fast, dude. It's so fast. It's so unbelievably fast. <laughs> Regrets! 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 Oh, damn it, dude. That thing is so much faster than I thought it'd be. That was actually terrifying. It started raining. Where the hell did that rain come from? Bastards. I, I don't think I don't think conquest is in any any danger. Ugh. My god, I just now I'm sweating a lot. Alright, you skeevy prostitute. I, I, I don't have any other words. <laughs> YouTube's so scary these days, man. I already barely make anything off these videos. What is this? Is this an enemy pookie trying to get in, or a friendly one that someone parked terribly, or is that just... That's a hostile pookie. But he's just... Being... I guess I don't really have to worry, any of these psychos will rip him to shreds. Alright. I don't know how we're gonna do this, I don't think my little trap necessarily works anymore when there's like giant... I think that snake is a lot freaking bigger than I think it is. That's what I think is going on around here. I don't even think this trap is gonna hold this snake. This thing is built for like spino raptors, bro. We don't have anything made that can at least I have a fancy fur jacket. Also, how okay there it is. Alright. Okay. Alright, maybe it can get caged in there. <coughs> maybe we just have to try some newbie tactics where we run around with a freaking grappler. I don't know, but we gotta try something. Climb up the ladder! Damn it! It just slows it. Okay, yeah, dude. The thing. Okay. All right. Okay. What am I thinking? I'm a freaking air but ah! I hate this place. <laughs> but you pastors. I am an airbender though. I should be able to just like airbed my. I suppose I still have to expand the cage though. Yeah, dude. That thing is freaking gymungus. It's clearly way too big for the cage, right? Because I assume like is too big for the cage. Yes, that, that right there just proves that it's okay, so we gotta expand. What do we do with you? This freaking monster of a snake will not move out of my domain. It is, it's longer than us. That's so freaky. It looks like it's crawling. Clean up our butt right now. It's just in there. Okay, there we go. Now I don't have nightmares anymore. It still looks like it's slithering out of our butt though. Okay, welcome back everyone. Now there's no freaking way that this can't hold the snake, right? There's just- we just needed a bigger cage anyways. We should endlessly grow this thing no matter what. So it eventually is just the size of a giant base in itself and we can just leave anything into here. I mean, do we still kind of- you know what? It barely catches Leggy on his foot. If it could barely catch Leggy on his foot, that's slightly hope-inspiring. The creature has made its way down this far so far, just kind of rampage and killing everything. I don't trust Anjanath. I am just going to get Anjanath out of here, just play it safe. Not even anything cool, I'm just going to bite its butt till one of us dies. Alright. Now the creature doesn't fall- Oh, there's elephants over here now, that's cool. It's cool because we also have like, we have elephants from Atlas, and then we have elephants from two other mods. We have so many freaking kinds of elephants around here. Pretty fantastic. More elephants than logically thought possible. I am going to go ahead and just, okay, there's a little bit of lag. There's a lot of new creatures. We're all just going to have to deal with it for a minute. I am, I, we haven't taken Gamora out for a while, but it's all been about Nebula. Nebula is like the new wave of warrior. We got to, I don't know, we got to respect that. I guess you should still take Gamora out. You don't want to just park her forever. She's still amazing. What are you eating? What is that? What is that? Oh, oh that's a freaking Atlas monkey. Never mind, eat it all you want. I, I, I'm not just gonna nerd out over every Atlas creature just because I like monkeys. Hurry up and eat the monkey, though. Okay, monkey's been digested. Do you follow? Okay, he does track Pookie. Perfect. Haha, -ha, we're like the exact same size. This is so much freaking better than running for my life and crapping my pants. Self defecating is just never sexy. Spit it however you want. I will never be attracted to a girl taking a crap on my chest. I'm just weird like that. Hang on, get over here. Well, it depends what she ate. These waves of venom. When is wild card gonna learn? We're not in, in like freaking, I don't know. I'm not amazed by stuff spitting venom at me anymore. Why don't you have a Kamehameha at me? Spirit bomb me for once. Something fancy, Christ's sake. Man, you better, you better win this fight. Also, you better be tameable. That's also something I should have considered. Hang on, damn it. 
If you're not tameable, then you sure as hell will make a sexy wall trophy. Those are your two options, slavery or death. Please work, please work, please work, please work. I mean, right? That's a work. That's that's a that's a victory. We did it. High five. We freaking did it. Hell yeah. That's okay, cool. Yeah, bitch! Alright, calm down, Johnny. Accept your victory. Alright, we do still have more darts left over, but I don't even think that will be necessary. I think just honestly, I wanna hit that giant bastard with a harpoon. A lot more logical ways we could do this, but harpoon is sexier. Okay, I swear to god, this thing's not tameable. This is there's no freaking way to know. And I don't want to just bother the mod dev every time I have a question. Even if it's not tameable in an Atlas, it might be tameable in Ark. You never know, man. Okay, first one's a miss. Excellent start to a failure episode. Could be such a snake, you idiots. I guess I'm actually in a pretty peaceful spot right now. I don't think anything bad's gonna happen to me. It, it, it can't rear its head up and hit me in such a short area. It needs more space. Evolution has failed you. Dude, that is a big snake right there. That's a thick boy. See, the darts definitely do make a lot more sense in just about every way. But look how freaking cool those giant, like, spear tranks look sticking out of a serpent. Oh my god, Eco just added a whole new thing that looks crazy. Holy shit, that's so exciting. Sorry, I just might have made it just annoyed at least several of you. But Eco, the, the, the person, the, the lovely woman in charge of, like, Every major decoration mod in Ark Survival Evolved, everything in all my series by far, has just released a whole new epic mod with just so much crazy, like, medieval decor and everything. Oh my god. This is perfect, because, like, next episode we are going to start making a base. And I love having weird bases that are just so crazy modded out. Hey, and I have a magnifying glass on me, don't I? That's like this, this, I don't understand the logic behind this wild card, but I'm with it. What do I have to do? Hop in there? I guess like, it's if, if I just see anybody, but then if I, hang on. If I hop in, I could temp I could potentially, shit! Woof! Okay, that was accidentally the dumbest thing I've done in a while. Hang on. I just want to make sure I can get my stuff. Actually, I have my little avatar airbender jump. I always forget I'm an airbender in this series. I feel like we don't utilize the airbender nearly enough. It is! It's taking Torpor! That doesn't take me high enough! Okay, the air bend just takes us about uh, the air, the air better jump takes us about two walls high. We needed to go three. It's whatever. I don't even care. I left the two things I need most inside the, the freaking pookie. We're fine. Hey, this is my chance because I actually do have a lot of crap on that. Crap. Hang on. I would like to get my body. Hang on. What do we do? It seems to be running now. No, is it? I need to get my. I need to get my stuff. Actually, this is. This did not go as planned. There needs to be some way to make yourself invisible to creatures. Like smoke bombs, I guess. Smoke bombs already exist, though. But, I don't know. There needs to be some way to camo yourself to creatures. This is nonsense what we're living with here. I'm going to have to air blast him. I'm going to have to go full on airbender to keep the beast at bay. He's got me by the balls, this one. I'm going to try one more time, and then I'm just going to cry. Airbender jump right to it. Oh, I paused at the worst time. Oh my god, I was like, that was the most hard attack five seconds of my freaking life right there. I did not enjoy that at all. I'm just gonna grab another long neck rifle from base. That's all I need. No, I clearly need my freaking stuff back. What's the course of action here? How the hell do I get my stuff back? What's, what do I, what do I do? What do I do? Nebula, do you have any ideas by any chance? Perhaps I could just kind of like use you and abuse you? Hang on. Nope. Nope. Okay, this is taking a horrible turn. Okay, what's going on over here, buds? Everything seems hunky-dory. Calm down. You can all withstand the hits. You're all beefcakes, and you know this. She doesn't even care about Nebula. She just cares about me. I'm going for it one more time, and then I'm just going to cry. Where's the damn ladder around here? Ha 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 ha. Alright, that was kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was not the smoothest thing I've ever done. She's wiggling! That's a weird thing to yell after 10 minutes of not making any noises, but damn it if it's not also correct. That is what we call a scared creature right there. 
Conquest just looks like she wants to eat it. It looks like the giant, a perfect, delicious worm meal, like, suitable for her stomach. Actually, possibly too dangerous, too, um, too large compared to the torso and head of Conquest. I, I imagine those wings would digest rather easily. I don't know, I imagine there's also some sort of magical frost essence inside of like Yana that would kill most creatures if they try to consume it. Or you just eat around the frost essence, I imagine. I switched to my last improved arrows. I really thought this would do it at the end, but nope. I thought that would look so much fancier. I'm actually using up the very last of our dart sash right now, but I feel like grinding has just become so much easier now that I have pookie pookies to collect thousands of narco berries. Okay, thank God we built this freaking cage. The more of this thing, like now it's even wiggling, but imagine trying to keep up with this monster. Look at this thing flying around right now. Good God. Thank God I started being an actual arc player just in time. What was that? It hasn't spit at me this whole time. Damn, dude, playing dirty. Spitting your AIDS juice at me. Spit my own AIDS back at you. You don't know where I've been. <laughs> this thing is hard as hell to hit just in a little box. Like, I am missing a good deal of, of darts right now. See, and then you just get those ones where he shows blood, but you don't get any hit indicator, and you just gotta hope that Ark knows what the hell it's doing. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Bam, just went from 6 to midnight, didn't it, buddy? It's officially asleep. That is what I'm talking about. Look at the freaking size of this thing. Dude, that is jimungus right there. Biggest snake I think we were able to even get around here. Woohoo! I know I built a ladder. Where the hell did I build it? Did they break the ladder? Can I just jump on your face? You useless, handsome, gorgeous idiot. Hang on, how am I getting out of here? I can't airbend. That is a thing, but we can also just kind of just grapple. Quick! We have to get prime meat. Shut up, Conquest. We're getting prime meat. You already have 85. You take all the fun out of everything. You know that? You're, you're too damn much of an overachiever. Dude, I've just been able to farm everything like freaking, I guess just mostly electronics and oil. There's just so many robots around our area. Makes life so much easier. I never thought Skynet taking over would make life better. I think the machines really do know what they're doing. Oh, thank God it's an easy tame with the... Sometimes they require the weirdest resources, and you just have to freaking gather everything, you know? That's what I'm talking about. <gasps> ho ho ho, look at me, large and in charge. Where am I? Oh, we're just kind of nuzzled up on the, on the frill, aren't we? That's adorable. Let's get you out of this cage, shall we, buddy? Where's the dent? There we go, freaking pistol. This pistol right here goes with the building mod. I'm sure you've all seen Syntax use it 10 gazillion times, but it is so freaking useful. Okay, this kind of crap doesn't make sense to me. It's like we're out of there, but we're not out of there. And and the thing is, the, the, the widest part of us has already passed. Yes, dude. We control serpents. Wow, this thing is noble as hell. Nothing like riding your giant snake down to the beach with the breeze in your face. This thing is hauling ass right now. All right, at level 389, it only has 8k health. I suppose everything is meant to be typically arc vanilla style. So nothing is too OP. I think every mod in here actually is supposed to be vanilla stats base. I know Devil Joe has like 100,000 health, but that's still supposed to be vanilla. That's why Devil Joe can't fight bosses. He's not allowed into the boss ring because he's too OP. He's, it's just Devil Joe. Like, he just happens to be the world leader. It's just a monster you always want to avoid. How good are we against nature's most annoying animal? What the hell? Is that... Is that... Left click is a take as a tail smack? That's so weird. Usually left click is like the primary. Weird. That's cool we have a little tail smack. We also seem to be implementing a good deal of damage to this guy right here. Which is, I don't know, very nice because Ankies can be real boners with that kind of stuff. That's why I attacked an Anki first. This thing's actually pretty damn strong. I mean, I imagine it kicked the crap out of me over the course of an hour. I don't even know if I should up movement speed, it's so naturally fast. What? We could aim while on top of this thing? I wish things didn't phase into the floor and arc sometimes, but I, I I just know that's the world we're living in. I don't think they're gonna fix meshing anytime soon. So that's how we splooge. Yeah, I'm gonna get away from all that nonsense. I'm actually gonna get away from most of this nonsense all around. He's freaking MacGyvered me. I can't attack him with my butt or my face. He's eating the middle. Oh god, I pissed, what, what pissed off the elephants? What a bunch of douchebags. I did nothing. And why is this Pookie just chilling there? He's freaking me out. No, no, no. None of this adds up right. Oh, 
I forgot Atlas had giraffes. They're giraffe-like creatures. What a place to stand, Johnny! Jesus! Oh my god, we're gonna lose everything! Bunch of- bunch of freaking nuts! Bunch of nuts! Alright, Pookie, who's more poisonous? Oh, he's gonna kill me off of the Pookie. He's gonna kill me off the- off the freaking snake, I mean, with his- with his Pookie stink. I have to kill a creature whenever we're gonna level up around here. What if I just viciously clap my cheeks against his face? It seems to be pissing off the trike a little. I don't know if our tail does a lot of damage. Our tail just gathered meat, that's pretty crazy. Just gathered some flesh with my ass. That's that's going on the bucket list. Pookie's losing a lot of health, but then he stinks us, and then we take damage. The rider on top of the cobra. Yeah, thugga! What do you want? Wow, that was the derpiest death animation I've ever freaking seen right there. Good god! I want a beefcake at first. I want it to be strong as hell. It clearly is already wrecking some faces. It's bigger than all the elephants, too. You could even call these elephants. What would they even be? Oh, shit, dude. Whatever they are, they're, they're stampeding. They're a mob. They really unify. It's beautiful to see. Communist elephants. This is any man's game right here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. God, those are some derpy deaths right there. I, I swear to God, if I only got seven levels, I'm coming for your mother. Okay, whatever just made that roar. Oh, no, that was just the Atlas T-Rex thing. I, got, I don't even care about that. I'll avoid the poop out of that. Let's get it up a little faster in case we gotta avoid trouble, you know? It's, it's okay. At 2,000 health, we should probably just run this thing back to base. It is strong though, it dominates the poop out of these surrounding creatures. I wish it didn't phase in the floor when going uphill, but damn it, when it goes downhill. That's what it really makes up for it. Because it just mostly rests its weight on like its torso. Well now it's just flying. Okay, there we go. Now what's going on? Yeah, when you go downhill, that's where he looks, that's, that's where he looks as supreme. Oh, these are so freaking pretty. Atlas really did have some cool creatures. That's what keeps getting me back on there. And I did love all the ocean battles and everything. It more just became way too freaking tedious for me to make ships. It was exhausting. But it was a really fun game. I did love live streaming it. Sad it did so bad because it just so many things are just re like created art creatures. They just, I don't know what Wildcard's saying, they spread themselves too thin, but damn, man. Everything's built on Ark. Ark is such an amazing game that there's like so many game success built on Ark. What are you doing, you goofball? Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because I just got back home and I'm gonna try and get this out in the next few hours. There's no way it's gonna happen. YouTube takes so long for videos to freaking upload these. Oh yeah, I forgot as an airbender, Great Falls heal me a little bit. I should have been utilizing that. Although there's not really a way, but make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you guys want to see more. But most importantly, everyone, most importantly, we need an epic name for Naga. That, that It's our giant snake and it's not a weenie. It's so nice when they're not weenies and they can actually throw down. So we need an epic name. I don't know, uh, epic name suggestions for a snake. I know we're gonna get spammed with the Harry Potter name suggestions and I'm totally okay with that. You guys are beautiful and I love your ideas. Also, the camera just died, so perfect place to end it. All right, <laughs> love you guys, peace.